How's it going guys? Welcome back. So it's another chilly day in the carport and today we're going to talk about fishing for bowfin with crawfish. Um, this is probably one of the most universal baits for bowfin because you can use them fast, you can use them slow, you can use them on the bottom, you can you know skim them fast across the top of the water if you have a nice fast reel. But I want to show you the ways that I use the little crawfish and what crawfish I like to use for you northerners would be crayfish. One is just using a regular you know worm hook with a bullet weight and another way that I like to rig them is shaky head hook that has the little screw on the end of it so you can screw it in here you screw that on there like so and that holds it in place really good and then you take your hook of course and stick it through the bottom of the crawfish make sure the hook is still buried so there basically there's no way that you're going to get anything snagged on there and then since you have the crawfish on that shaky head is he's going to fall and he's going to almost sit with these guys up in the air like so you know kind of flapping like crawfish claws you know pinching warning everybody hey don't mess with me i'll pinch you in the winter months when it's cold and the fish aren't as active i like to do a really really slow drag on the bottom i'll cast it out there and i'll let it sit as soon as it hits the water i'll let it sit for like two or three seconds not even touch it you know just kind of get the slack out of the line watch the slack because sometimes the bowfin will hit this on the fall and you'll just see your line twitch just a little bit and then he'll just sit there on it and he won't go anywhere so then when you kind of pull in that slack and just kind of raise the rod tip up just a little bit you'll feel that weight on there and then you can set the hook on them but if there's nothing there what i'll do is i'll drag it real slow and the key is slow slower the better you just want this thing barely moving across the bottom and what happens when you're moving them real slow is if there's a rock or a little stick or something it'll catch that rock and it'll kick it up just a little bit and then it'll fall back down and kind of level out and act like it's you know being really still and then you just keep moving it real slow and that really drives the bowfin crazy because i see this little crawfish moving thinking it's going to get away from them and it kind of makes them a little twitchy and he'll be like oh no you ain't getting away from me buddy and he'll come over and be like Wah! and fish on. Now you are going to have to experiment with color. So that's why I use a little darker color swamps and stuff where I fish where that water is gin black. Now in the rivers I'll just switch up the colors all together and I'll go to like the green pumpkins, I'll go to this gold. It just really depends on what color the crawfish are in that area. If you really want to be fancy you can go out and set up crawfish traps and see or flip rocks in the creeks or whatnot and to see what color the crawfish are in that area and then use that bait color to match your lure it's always the key thing you know match the hatch is what they always say and in the winter months smaller is always better and in the summer months i go a little bigger because of you know the fish have a faster metabolism and they can digest food a lot faster so they'll eat bigger baits the winter months they can't digest as fast so they'll eat smaller baits but they'll eat more of them and it's just better for their system so anyway i hope you enjoy the video and until next time remember catch and release let them go let them grow